Good morning, guys. Welcome to my new vlog. To start the month, we surprised our friend Mari for his birthday, and he did not see any of this coming. Um, and he cried. It was so cute. It was so emotional the past few days. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We are organizing a dance ball at the end of the month, so I'm just trying so hard to get back in shape. <laughs> Day one. I can't do it. So this is a new type of um video that I'm making. Before I was always like confused. I was always like not sure about what kind of content um I want to make because my ideas are always changing and it's really hard to just make a decision and just go for it and stick to it. So this is what I'm thinking right now. Um since I'll be uploading four videos every single month, I am thinking about having three of them for me to talk about professional stuff like productivity, business, entrepreneurship, and female leadership, that kind of stuff. And then for the fourth one, I will make it my monthly casual vlog when I get to talk about whatever I want to talk about, you know. It could be personal, it could be emotional, or whatever you guys want me to talk about. I'll just save it for that video. And we can just have like a casual chat, you know, like friends having like a sleepover party, something like that. <laughs> and the reason why I'm doing this is because um, I want to keep most of my videos professional still, but I want to have something personal and casual so that um, you guys can get to know the real me in real life with real feelings. Um, yeah, this is my first ever monthly vlog. This is the May vlog. Uh, I am so excited to share uh, my life with you guys let's get let's get into it <laughs> after getting ready I decided to go to the cafe um, to just try to work for a little bit so I went to 7-eleven first to buy the food um, the sushi roll amazing it was just such a beautiful weather and I sat down and started working for a little bit it was like 30 minutes or so and I decided to join my friends um, because they're playing um, board games there every single Sunday. Check out this card. And I had a great time. And I and I won. Woohoo! It's 15, right? Mm. Loser. 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 <laughs> For dinner, I've been in love with this spicy food. I think it's called Mao Cai. It's from Sichuan or Chengdu. And the next day, after teaching, my students took me to this restaurant and I had even more Chinese food and I just love 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 all the fried rice and fried noodles and oh and dumplings. Dumplings are the best. And it was mid-May. My friend was organizing a psychology training for the consultants and I was very honored to be invited to be one of the guest speakers. And it may be shocking to you guys but like this is one of those um rare moments when I speak Chinese. And after the speech, my friend invited me to have dinner together. We went to this place. Um, I think the Cantonese word for for such um, places is called um, Cha Lao, which means um, tea house. It's a place where Cantonese people have um, breakfast, um, especially dim sum, and also breakfast tea, and also some just light brunch. The culture of Cha Lao is very popular among the Cantonese people. So if you ever visit um, Hong Kong or my city, Guangzhou, you will experience this a lot with the locals. After dinner, I met my friend Faris at my friend's bar. We've been working on a design project for my other friend, Mari. <laughs> yeah, so I had a great time just, you know, catching up with him, talking about stuff, and more dim sum. <laughs> no judgment, okay? I didn't know how much I love um, Chinese food, especially dim sum, until this vlog. <laughs> Another night, another party. <laughs> Met my friend Ian and Tanya and we were just like wandering around and we found this um, very Japanese street. Um, I'm sure it's not Japanese but like it was giving me that vibe and um, it was just very cozy and the wind was just blowing on the face. Yeah, I had a great time, you know, hanging out with them. Oh, this is a restaurant of Skiba. Oh, that's the man. You work till 3 a.m. 
I really like. I, really I like the music a lot. I really like what's happening. So um, I just bought a dress and it just arrived but I think it's a little bit too long it's covering both of my legs and I'm wearing this to the beach tomorrow I kind of want to you know show off my legs a little bit so um, I think I'm just gonna DIY it and then yeah let's let's just do it And here comes the yearly LGBT beach party. Too gay. This is too gay. <laughs> perfect way to end the vlog for this month. Being LGBT in Guangzhou or in China in general is definitely a challenge but I believe that we are all trying to live a better life here and we are trying to hang out with the right people to do the right thing and just help each other in the community. And I hope you get such positive fun vibe from my videos. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this month's vlog and if you like the content, definitely um, leave a like and comment down below and let me know so that I will make more videos like this and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!